Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be using Blender to create stuff like this. This is something I've just created in Blender. It's a really basic wall with a door in it. It's got a skirting board that we can assign a different material to and it's mirrored on both sides. It's got minimal geometry and it's just a way that you can put together these props so you can just drag and drop these items into your scene and build your own rooms similarly to how I was doing it yesterday. So jumping into Blender you can see the object that I've created. It's really simple. It's, it's, I can't stress enough how simple this is. So I'm just going to delete all of that stuff and I'm going to start from scratch. So in object mode what I want to do is I'm going to create a new mesh and it's going to be a plane. In the window that pops up as you can see it's already filled the values that I have um, previously put in there. And I want this wall to be 3 meters across and 3 meters up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some adjustments. So on the rotation scale, I just want to check which way that is. So that's the wrong way. I actually want it to rotate along the X axis. And I want it to rotate 90 degrees like so. Now in uh, Blender, natively, Z is actually the vertical. We know this is 3 meters tall, so we need it to be 1.5 meters up. That's all we need to do on that one. Now for the sake of simplicity, what I'm going to show you how to do is just to make a solid wall to start with. So in object mode, I'm going to select our object and I'm going to go into edit mode. And then in this button here where it says extrude region, I'm just going to select that. And then because of the way that I've extruded the previous model, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pull this out like that and then a window is going to appear. I want this wall to be 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters thick so I'm going to put in 0.2 in there. Boom, that's our wall completed. Now I'm just going to adjust the position in the world properties of our object. Just need to make sure I get the right box, object properties. And then I'm going to change its position along the Z axis, not the Z axis, sorry, the X axis. Cheers, no, it's still not the Z. I'm having a major brain fart today. It's actually going to be the Y axis and I'm going to change that to minus 0.1. And then that will center it. Maybe that's the wrong. Gosh darn, let's try 0.1. There we go. Now it's centered on that axis. So when we bring it into the scene, it will be pretty much exactly centered on the X, Y, Z uh, scale. So now I need to design the skirts and for that I'm going to come back into object mode initially and I'm going to rename this object to just be wall don't need to add anything funky in there and then in object mode we're just going to go to add mesh and we're going to add a cube and I'm going to change its properties in this scale in this properties window over here so on the x-axis we actually need this is one meter across at the moment so we need it to be 300%, so we can just do 3.0. And then looking at our scale, you can see that is bang on three meters, exactly what we want. Next thing we're going to do is we're gonna drop down its, its other values. So the Y scale, we need it to be quite small. We're gonna fix that in a moment. And then along here, I actually want it to be about 100 mil in height. So I'm just gonna change this to 0.1 can see that that's happened. Now we need to change its position. We need to come up 500, uh, 50 mil in the vertical direction. So in the Z direction, we need that to be 0 0.5, 0 0.05 even. And that'll bring that up so it's meeting the bottom. Now, what we can do is we could make separate ones for each side, but because all we're doing is poking out a little bit with a different surface, what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm just gonna make this scale so that it is exactly the right size. So I want it to be 10 mil in thickness either side. We know that this is 20, uh, 200 mil. So we just need to change the scale in this plane. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of maths. So it's currently, we need it to be 220 basically. 0.220 precise cool beans so now if I zoom in you can see that that is exactly the right dimensions that we need 
Now we need to assign properties to this uh, material. So I'm going to keep the wall selected and I'm going to go into material properties. That's a modifier, sorry, stand corrected. Which one's material? World object properties. We just got to find the goddamn. I think it's that one. Material properties. There we go. We've got to create a new object, uh, a new material here. I'm just going to call this wall like that and that will be fine and then I'm going to select the skirting board which I'm also going to rename to skirting and I'm going to create a new material for this one as well I'm going to call this material skirting boom right that is everything we need to do in blender for this section of wall now I've got to go and export this we're going to go to file export wavefront obj We've already got our door wall in there, so I'm just going to say uh, this one's just going to be wall underscore three meters. We need to set the scale to be 100 times because that's just the difference between Blender and uh, Studio. And then we need to make sure that forward is Z forward and Y up because that's also what Dash Studio does. Now we're going to hit export OBJ. That's going to almost instantly, because of how basic this shape is, almost instantly do it. Come back into Dash Studio, and now we can go into File, Import, and I'm going to double check my object. And I'm just going to, because I've got all of my output settings from Blender correct, I don't have to change anything in here. I can just hit that there. Now I'm going to go into the Move tool. I'm going to select my wall of three meters and I'm going to change its position along the Z axis or the X axis. Sorry. Now we know that it's three meters across and there's already three meters there. So we just have to hit three and that's three centimeters. My apologies. Three hundred. No, not point three hundred. Let's try that again. Three hundred. There we go. And that seamlessly meshes with the wall next to it. Now all I've got to do is on the previous wall, I can go to my surfaces tab, I can select the skirting, I can go to control C, and then in the surface for using the surface selection tool on there, I can just go to uh, in fact, yeah, let's do it, just do it manually. So I can right click on skirting, copy selected surfaces, click on our new wall, right click on there, paste two selected surfaces. Now we can do the same thing with this one on the wall. Copy selected surfaces on the wall on this one. Paste two selected surfaces. Boom. Now, if I deselect, there you go. Pretty much seamless. There is a slight difference in the size of the skirting board there. If we are to zoom in, we can see that there is a slight difference in the size. This skirting board seems to be slightly thicker, which means that this skirting board is probably only 0.5, but we can fix that instantly by coming back into Blender. Still got our skirting selected. We come to our, uh, our properties. It's uh, one of these ones, if I remember correctly. It's got our, I always forget which one of these icons it is. Material properties, texture properties, world properties, object properties. Don't know why I didn't think of that. So we know that it is uh, two, two there. So we can change that to 0.210. Hit enter again. That makes that smaller. Now if we go to file, export, wavefront OBJ, notice that our settings have all remained the same. So all we have to do is select wall through me, go up, export OBJ done now if we come back into dash studio we can actually delete that object we can import again and i'm going to double click my wall through me is just hit accept everything there and provided that that actually exported correctly i may have selected the wrong thing let's just get rid of that i think i might have accidentally saved it as the wrong file name because i might have clicked on the wrong thing so we'll go to import. I'm going to double click on the thing that I think just hey yeah, yeah I, I saved it as the wrong file name because I'm a pillar. Go into parameters. We're going to change the X position again to three meters, three meters, not three centimeters, 300. And again, what we'll do is we'll use our surface selection tool. We'll select the wall coming to our materials there. We'll select this one, go to 
copy selected surfaces and then on this one we go to paste two selected surfaces do the same thing with the skirting board copy selected surfaces paste two selected surfaces and now if I zoom out now it's seamless there's no weird shadow there whatsoever perfect so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to with this object selected I'm going to go to file save as support asset figure prop asset you could save it as a scene subset if you really wanted to but I'm going to save this as a figure prop asset boom that's going to ask me for a file name so I'm just going to call it wall underscore 3m hit enter that's going to come up asking me to do a load of stuff here really I don't have to actually do any of this I'm going to just set it to content type none set category I'm actually going to set this up to be a architect interior I can leave I can change my name if I want to I can set my that studio directory there product I'm going to call this create dash my dash room and uh, that's all we need to do then we hit accept so that's really all you have to do to create the basic part it's really simple I've now got a solid wall and a wall with a door in it that I can use to create my own rooms in I'll probably do another episode for something with a, like a window um, simply because that's going to take a little bit more um, finesse but either way I hope you found it useful guys let me know what you think in the comments below I will see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye